in this session we'll discuss about the modeling capabilities and if you see the typical process which we adopt in ETAFs and other structural analysis solutions are quite different because the fundamentally the approach which we use in ETAFs are specific to building the system. So whatever the modeling you do or whatever the procedure you adopt and the design capabilities all are specific to your building system and also this complete program is object specific and whatever the joints or the connection or the frame or the different type of objects like the shear wall slabs you use and also you assign the different member combinations and its properties for the beam columns and walls ramps and other stiffness parameters you would consider those specific object typically and broadly while developing a model you use three different steps and starting from the configuration of your object like columns beam with the joints then you assign its property the specific section property and the material which you assign then you go for the meshing but when you talk about the meshing we talk about the slabs or shear wall or a deck or different specific object where you have the area specific ratio and that is also automatically taken care independently and if you want to refine further you can do it always so all the basic steps which are required so in other program you need to do mesh you need to do a specific assignment procedure and here you have all very specific to your building design process and if you see the modeling features you have very specific types of object like your waffle flat slab or maybe the truss type of structure or steel or rcc beam or two way rift slab etc so automatically it assemble the different type of objects when you select a particular configuration and also it assigns the basic stiffness to your object and also automatically it also considers the different load combination for the dead and live and if specifically you want to give extra dead load or live load you can configure always and for any complex situation or structure and the capabilities also gives you wide range of broad perspective and solutions and if you have a symmetrical building solution always you can select the template and you can customize the template in case of non symmetrical structure that directly i will show you during explaining you the grid system and how you can create your customized grid system also any type of irregular shape if you have or which are not symmetric that also can directly be done and you can create those type of critical structures very compatibly and also you can have the semi rigid floor diagram and in case of that diagrams you can capture its typical effect for the deformation and the floor object and the specific span which you do adjust uh, between your slope floors that is ramps that also can be done very nicely here and you can have a partial diagram also that also can be done for sharing the loads and you can have a dummy floor or column lines which directly gives you the capability or the typical provision for configuring your loads and column and beam brace element also may be prismatic whatever the default uh, cross section you need to apply and they may have partial fixity at their ends so whatever the boundary condition you need to apply may be at the ground you need to assign a roller joint that also can be configured but by default it will fix the column ends and you can also configure and different typical type of load configuration other than the uniform if you have the varying load or if you have the partial on uniform or trapezoidal load pattern or different other type of load that directly can be configured through your load manager and 
finite dimensions of beams and column on the stiffness also can be included and that will be automatically created and which you can change as per your requirement also. And if you see the analysis capabilities, here also you have broad specific capabilities as I discussed starting from the structural static analysis to your advanced analysis like the P delta or the response spectrum analysis and you can see the time history analysis and also the pushover analysis and those this uh, kind of broad capabilities you can have through this analysis engine and you can typically consider the different category of your building objects like columns, floor, shear wall, slabs and you can assign the property and in analysis you can track those in case of your RCC design or in case of only the overall design feature you can typically track those and different type of critical loading system as I discussed before also in the analysis engine you can take care of those and all the level of advanced analysis like the modal frequencies and modal participation factor and different direction monitoring factor which directly gives you the building orientation in case of your resonance that also can be monitored and you can have different methods like the again vectors or ridge method which you can adopt and also you have the compatibility from different other analysis engine like the Revit or other CIS domain or IFC data so those also can be directly imported or also from the start you can directly import your structure and you can directly configure all the output and different output you can have in terms of reaction or member force or modal participation factor or mode shapes and uh, drift the story drift which you talk about interior story drift or story shears and all these capabilities you can monitor during the post processing activity and also you can have the earthquake and the dynamic response spectrum or time history analysis or combination of all this so the analysis capability you saw you have the broad capabilities where you can uh, do it because we are using the ETAB ultimate and in our coming session we'll talk about the design features and its different capabilities in ETAB 2013.